let us understand how we calculate cash received from debtors. Now for this purpose, always remember bills receivable if given in the question and debtors they are prepared simultaneously, their accounts are prepared simultaneously. So the format is like this, bills receivable account, remember this is a T shape format, so particulars and amount on the debit side and particulars and amount on the credit side. Bills receivable balance brought down that is opening balance and balance carried down is closing balance. Since it is an asset, it has a debit balance. On the credit side, what are the possible entries? The first one being cash. This is on account of amount received from bills receivables or the holders. Then by bank. bill discounted whatever we have discounted their amount will appear on the credit side then by discount whatever is the discount on account of bill discounting appears on the credit side totaling it out subtracting the debit side what we will have is two debtors that is fresh bills issued or received since it is bills receivable it would rather be received during the year and remember it is a balancing figure it is not given in the question it is calculated by subtracting the debit side total from the credit side total and this amount is then later on transferred from the debit side of this account to the credit side of debtors account because every entry will have a double aspect so its one aspect is in bills receivable and the second aspect would be on the credit side of debtors account coming to total debtors account now again it is an asset so the first entry on the debit side would be to balance brought down this is opening balance then the closing balance would be here by balance carried down closing balance On the credit side, the first entry should be by cash, that is amount received from debtors. Then students, this entry, that is the bills receivable that we have received, would be here by bills receivable account. It is the same amount that has been transferred from the debit side of bills receivable account. Then debtors would reduce on account of sales return it would reduce on account of by discount allowed then there might be other entries on the account of which total debtors account would be reduced like bad debts so bad debts would be written on the credit side now again let us total the credit side out of this we will deduct the debit side total and this would be our credit sales again remember this is balancing figure Now students, if we are given total sales, we will calculate credit sales from total debtors account, deduct this credit sales from total sales, we will get cash sales. There can be another aspect to this also. In case credit sales are given, we can calculate cash as the balancing figure. 
in this case cash what represents the amount received would actually be the cash collected from debtors during this particular time period so we can have balancing figure in terms of credit sales or the amount received which is cash